Get ready and some coffee. Get ready. It's karate time. But don't drink it yet because it's too hot. Drink it. I don't want it. I said drink it. How dare you? I called you both in because I hear you've been having problems. No, how dare you? Important. We She's the one who started. How? How? Not need dare. How? How dare you? How dare you? How dare No. How, how dare you dare me? How? You're fired. You can't fire me. Oh, I see what you're doing now, How. Playing word games like some woke progressive. Did we? Oh, I'm so sorry. Didn't well, I'm not falling for it, man. Huh? What? I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it, How? We aren't giving you anything. Get out. The, you know, the, these progressive word games make deals and contracts with progressives impossible because they keep changing the definition of words after the deal is done, dude. This is done, man. I mean, it's, it's like trying to settle on an arranged marriage contract only to find out after the fact they changed the definition of marriage, woman, and even arranged. I am altering the deal. I mean, every dang word's definition in the entire contract has been altered. Post arrangement. Nice. That that that's not a contract. It's a con trick. Order, order. Witness may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, I thought I thought we agreed on the pretty one for for my seven years of labor. Well, it's tradition in these parts to first marry off the oldest male. Yeah, the, these lies will not stand. Minds, this will not stand. You know, this aggression will not stand, man. Honestly, yeah, like even the definition of the dollar itself is being changed. You know, I mean, you settle on the price, and then they change the definition of a dollar post contract. I am altering the deal. Yes, well, we have agreed to pay you one hundred dollars. However, the new definition of a dollar is that it now has the purchasing power to acquire precisely half a peanut. Let me get one. One on a rib. No, 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 no. One rib. With a slight caveat that in order to get the half peanut for a dollar, you have to win a wrestling match against an angry elephant on steroids. Huh? Aw, oh, twenty dollars. I wanted a peanut. But don't worry. The the de the definition of the dollar changing thing, it's all it's only transitory. By which we mean we changed the image on the dollar bill from George Washington to trans Georgita Washington in order to, you know, add some femininity to the founding fathers. Because that's, that's the important thing, not their ideas or anything. And uh, it's also more historically accurate, according to the Netflix documentary. Beauty is transitory, doctor. Yeah, appar apparently... According to the documentary, George Washington had a homoerotic affair with Alexander the Great. You know, obviously the homoerotic thing was totally to be expected given documentaries these days, but it was a little scandalizing, however, considering Alexander the Great was a rotting corpse at the time. You know, I mean, bold, brave, inspiring, groundbreaking documentary. But, but you know how our Georgita Washington was. Always pushing the boundaries with their pelvis. Anyways, uh, Georgita Washington is now being depicted on the dollar bill with suspiciously cherry-colored red hair and lips. The caption on the new dollar bill and Georgita's new catchphrase being, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Demonstrating that young Georgita Washington may not have cut down the entire cherry tree, but cherries... We're certainly cut. I cannot tell a lie. This is a great deal. Oh. Uh, that, that, that's not how I was told the story, you know, but, but whatever. Like, who needs Honest George? Would we now have Honest Joe? I mean, the only difference is the changing definition of honest. I'd, I'd tell you what the new definition of honest was, but seeing how definitions change almost as rapidly as the decline in the dollar... It's not really worth our time. You know, and, and young George, I mean, Georgita Washington's cherries, contrary to what some people say, were actually cut down and eaten 
by cannibals. And he deserved it, by George. It was an ancient and honored cannibal Indian tribe known as the Warrens. Ooh, and now I'm thinking in stereotypes. Chopped George's cherries right off and ate them. Must be the war cry of her tribe. Starting America's most cherished founding principle. Diversity, equity, inclusion, and cannibalism. And, uh, and if, anybody, if anybody wants to debate those historical facts with me, I say... Well, make my day, pal. Uh, little help here. What are you doing out of bed at this hour? Go back to bed, Joey. No! I want to... I want to mop the floor with that dog-faced pony soldier. You can't mop the floor with anything. You don't clean messes, Joey. You only make messes. Everyone knows this. And then some other fool like me is the one who has to mop up your mess. Go back to bed. I'll hear no more of this. Okay, okay. I'm willing. I'm willing to negotiate on your terms. In exchange for going back to bed, and I'll even throw in pulling foreign aid from our American allies, I demand chocolate chip ice cream and a waffle cone. And the waffle cone is non-negotiable. How? Dare you.